Welcome back to Startup Central. If you're new here, hi, my name is Mauricio, and in this channel, we'll explore how to invest in startups from the crypto space in order to gain big returns, just like Silicon Valley investors do. So if that's something that interests you, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and uh, do like this video if you like the content we're going to be discussing, which is the best uh, three node projects to invest in. So without further ado, let's get started. So figuring out which were the best three projects was kind of tough because there's so many node projects to choose from. And uh, what I did is I, I chose a number of factors so uh, as to compare those projects. Now, the main thing for those projects to be considered for this list was that uh, those were actual hardware node providers. So there's my, many projects that say they're going to be investing your money in nodes, but don't actually buy nodes. So they're just kind of making that or using that name of nodes uh, without any real uh, backing of what they say. So um, what I'm going to be reviewing is the three best ones uh, with that criteria. And I'm going to explain, uh, I'm going to share my screen in a moment. I'm going to explain the, the six things that I found that were really crucial when comparing those projects. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and start. And this is the thing I, I thought that was the best way to compare them. One, I wanted to know that they, their founders not only were docs, but they had experience in uh, both the development area and the financial area because these are investment products, right, guys? So you want them to have experience in both areas. Um, the other is the project age. How long have they been with us since inception? Not since inception, since the first uh, you know, launch. Another one is the ROI they are providing. So the higher the ROI, the best grade they get in this criteria. Uh, and of course, uh, the, the lower it goes, uh, you know, a traditional bank would get a zero starts for this. But these projects do have better, much better returns than banks. The tokenomics, and this is crucial, guys, bad tokenomics can spoil any kind of project. So I've seen some amazing business ideas spoiled by really bad tokenomics. So tokenomics is the way they create a use case for uh, their token and how they balance that with demand supply and sometimes taxation the stability of their token price is really important so um probably heard about projects where the price was let's say at a thousand dollars and you know olympus finance anybody and then the price went down uh to 35 dollars so uh you want to see a certain degree of token stability in projects you invest in because your returns even if it, a project says they're going to give you a hundred thousand percent per year if the token goes 99% down, you're not getting that return, guys. So that's really important, token stability. And of course, a good projects had a solid have a solid business model. So this means they are making money from their business in order to pay you their tokens they're giving you. So I'm using this criteria to compare these projects. And uh, so let's go to the project number three, Strongbox. Uh, and I'm going to explain why I, I chose this one as my third option. First, founders. And I think this is the one of the most solid things about Strongblog. Of course, they are docs. Um, David Moss has experience. They, he was with the launch of EOS, uh, another uh, chain, another in the blockchain. And uh, one of his teammates uh, or co-founder you know, has come from Nike, the sneakers brand. So they do have good experience and they're capable of uh, converting this into a strong business. Like, no, no pun intended, but really. Uh, so I like the founders. I think they're uh, experienced and that's why they get five out of five age of the project it started in uh december 2020 so in terms of crypto time this is already a long time although as you might say it's only been two years and uh change or a year sorry a year and change uh that's you know one year uh it's already a long time in crypto 
the ROI they are providing. It used to be closer to 300% now that their token is down. If you take into consideration gas fees and the maintenance fees, uh, that takes a chunk out of your ROI. So it depends also on, on how, how much time you wait until you claim your tokens. Right, guys? Uh, and if you want to know more about strong blog, I'm going to leave a link to this video on the on that side of the screen. Uh, but for this video, they get four out of five because it's a really good return. Still, it's a good return. Uh, it's going to be better the longer you wait to claim. But that takes us to another thing, the tokenomics. So with strong, there is a before and after uh, and it all changed uh, earlier this month. So we're in April. 2022. Uh, beforehand, their tokenomics were really bad. They had a limited amount of tokens and they used those tokens to pay investors returns. But they were running out of those tokens and eventually they would have to default on their payments. So if that happened, the, you know, every node would go to zero because no one would be getting those returns. So what they did is they created a new token uh, that had a lot more tokens available. Uh, so now the tokenomics are kind of inflationary, which is <laughs> not the best choice. Uh, but that's much better than them defaulting, defaulting and not paying us investors the returns. So they get two out of five. I think they could have done better. Uh, it is what it is. And uh, that is kind of compensated with the next thing. Uh, well, not the token price. The token price, they get two out of five because uh, Strong used to be worth a you know, up to $1,400, if I remember well, and now it's worth around $40. $40. Now, Strong is no longer in use. They have migrated to the token called Stronger, but still that's worth $120 at the recording time of this video. So that's more than a 12x difference between the highs and the lows. So that means that if you purchase 10 Strong to create a node at $1,400, you spent $14,000. And now that's worth uh, 1200 So you lost 90% of your investment. Now, a whole different picture if you, is if you bought the token at, let's say, $90, when Strong was still the token you could create nodes with, uh, then now you're in a better place. But most of us invested when the price of token was higher. So uh, unless the price of Stronger goes you know, higher again, and maybe to $500, now, the token price is a big factor on uh, the returns not being so good. The business model. So this is also one of those before and after things. Uh, before, it was um, the business model was buying nodes, hardware nodes, and they wanted to provide validator uh, services to blockchains. But they quickly found that blockchains were not willing to pay anything for those validator nodes. So that business model was kind of failed. And they still were paying us and, you know, there was enough demand for the token that, you know, the returns were nice. Uh, with, it, with everything happening right now, uh, they had to migrate the business model. So now what they're going to be doing is creating their own blockchain. It's going to be called Strong Chain. And now I think that's a more solid business model as long, guys, as long as there is enough developers doing interesting things in uh the strong chain because there's a lot of other options other than strong chain so why would you choose strong chain as opposed to matic or uh any other l1 or l2 blockchains they need to come with a good um idea of why to choose this chain they're they're working on now i'm confident they have this um, i don't remember i'm sorry i don't remember the guy of the 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 guy coming from nike but he was if i remember well in the marketing team so if they are able to tap into that and to him, uh, they might come with a good solid business model. For now, I'm going to give them three out of five because we know the roadmap, but haven't executed on that yet. So they're going to get 3.6 stars out of five. And I know it's not great. I would not love if I was selling on Amazon, I would not love my products to be graded 3.6, but this is because they are in between a big change. So let's see, we might grade them again in a couple months. But for now, they get 3.6 star. Nevertheless, they are my third favorite node project because of all the potential they have and all of these factors I just mentioned. Now let's go with option number two. They're called Presearch. So uh, they're founders. They get a four out of five. Of course, they're dogs. That's a must for this uh, 
comparison. Uh, and uh, they do have uh, some experience in development, which is kind of the, the required thing for uh, developing a search engine. So they are creating a decentralized search engine, which is a kind of competitor to Google. Now, uh, we're going to be discussing the business model in a moment. So they do have this expertise to create uh, this uh, search engine. Uh, the important thing that I would love to see in one of their co-founders or, or in their team is someone with experience selling ads to advertisers. Uh, of course, the network of users of research has to grow. And I'm already getting ahead of myself, guys, because that's the business model. But let's talk about age. They, this guy's this project has been out from uh, since November 2017. So they've been working on it for a good while. Uh, they've been providing returns to investors ever since, if I remember well. And uh, I've been with this project for uh, probably since December last uh, or November, December last year. Um, so, so far, so good. They've had been providing the returns they, they promised. Uh, it's kind of blurry on what the exact percentage of returns we're, that we're getting. Uh, but on average, I've been getting around 20% yearly on my initial investment. So um, it's not clear whether you get a percentage, which percentage of those returns you get for providing a node and which one, which percentage do you get from investing uh, your tokens on that node or staking them. Um, I think there, there could be more clarity so if you're looking at this video, I would encourage you to do that. But um, so they get two out of five. Now, guys, here's the thing. That's currently they haven't launched their main net yet. It's going to be launched soon. If I remember well from their uh, Ask Me Anything, um, this might change. They, they mentioned that we might be getting more uh, tokens as a return on our investment. So we'll see. Tokenomics, I, this is one of my, my, my favorite things about pre-search. They have solid tokenomics. So good tokenomics create a demand for the token. So if there's demand and there's not enough supply, uh, the price of the token will increase. So currently the, the price is around 16 uh, cents of a dollar per token. And uh, that could potentially increase 10x, easily to 10x to 1.65 once their sales of ads uh, start happening. Because remember guys, Research is competing with Google. Now we know how valuable Google is. So if they manage to tap into, let's say, 5% of the business of Google, um, the, token, the token could go 10x or even more. Now, take this with a grain of salt. I'm not a financial advisor. So everything I say here is for educational purposes and for you to make your own decisions. So do your own research, but that's my opinion on pre-search if they manage to execute well. So that's why I want to see uh, an experienced guy in the sales of ads. Um, token price, the stability of the token price has been pretty stable compared to other crypto projects. So they have had a high of around 25 cents, if, if I'm right, um, and a low, the current low is around 16 cents. So that's not even a 2x variation as compared to a 12x of strong. Um, for crypto, that's pretty stable, even with a downturn of uh, Bitcoin, you know, going from the highest highs to the $39,000 uh, per Bitcoin in the last few days. So uh, their token has behaved pretty stably, and that also helps uh, make your returns more solid. So I like that. And their business model, guys, this is my favorite business model in all of the Web3 space. Uh, so far, guys, there's probably going to be coming more exciting things. But as a startup, I think Presearch has a long way to climb. But as they climb, it's going to be uh, becoming a, one of the most valuable uh, Web3 projects and protocol and businesses uh, if they manage to take a chunk out of Google's business. So um, they are going to be selling ads that creates more demands for the token because you can pay with pre, which is their token, and that makes the price of the token goes go up. So that they're, they'll be bringing real money to pay you your tokens. And that also creates uh, an uptrend of the price of token. So if you're buying pre at 16 cents, and eventually it gets all the way to 1.6, you're 10xing your money plus the ROI you're getting from this project. So 
Long term, this is my favorite project, but long term, so we'll have to see if they execute well. The same thing with, with Strong. So, um, but these guys have been at it for a number of years. So the main thing I want to see here is they bring someone experience to broaden the network of people using pre-search and I've been using pre-search no longer Google for a while. Uh, once you find this um, this engine, search engine, it's hard to go back to the old ways where they spy on you and all that stuff. So, um, and it's up to us to also broaden that net network. But so far they're getting 4.2 stars on average, which is much better than uh, Strong, uh, but still there's one better project. So uh, let's go with the net one. next one is called Yield Notes. You probably heard about that. We have a video, I'm gonna place the link here about Yield Notes. Their founders, they get four out of five. They're docs. Uh, they do have experience from this business. Uh, they are not as experienced as the team at Strong. So uh, in comparison with Strong, yeah, Strong gets a five out of five. They get a four out of five. But they've been accruing experience in the node space for a good while because they've been out since September 2019. So that's a good while in crypto. Uh, so they're getting four out of five for age. The ROI is around 100% a year. Um, if you compound your profits, then it's closer to 180%. It used to be higher, now it's gone lower because they're, that your income with them depends on the price of Bitcoin. Bit, oh, sorry, yeah, the price of Bitcoin and crypto in general. So when we see the price going back up, you're probably getting better returns. Uh, but 100%, guys, it's much better than what the bank is paying. So uh, they do get five out of five. Tokenomics. Now, here's the thing with yield nodes, and it, one of those things that makes it um, different. They're not using their own token to pay you your returns. They're using euros. So uh, they have a plethora of different node investments, uh, and they're getting returns, different returns from each one of them, which they're with their own tokenomics. So what they do is they convert all of them into euros, and that's how you get your profits back. So um, Basically, their tokenomics is the tokenomics of the euro. Uh, and we know it's fiat and fiat has got its own downsides. But I can, you know, with confidence say that the euro has better tokenomics than most crypto projects. So they do get five out of five because I rather receive my profits in euros than a token that's going to zero. Uh, the token price stability, the same thing is the stability of the euro. So as long as the euro is stable, uh, which is kind of stable as compared to the to the let's say to the US dollar, then um, you get that stability. And the euro, I don't think is going to go to zero anytime soon. So yeah, that's good. And their business model. So compared to pre-search, um, their business model is not as good. But compared to strong, I believe they have a stronger to the current state of strong. They have a, a better business model because what they do is they take your money. And along with the money of other investors, they buy into different node projects and that diversifies the investments and that brings the risk down. Because if one of them fails, the others might not. And if one of them go to the moon, that will average out with the other ones that aren't going down. So that's basically Silicon Valley's strategy to invest in startups. So um, it's been a proven model for, for at least 20 years, the, the 20 years of Silicon Valley since the dot-com bo uh, you know, bust. Um, and it's been going really well for this investor. So they're kind of allowing us to participate with them in a um, VC fund of sorts. So their business model is four out of five. They average out to 4.5 stars. Um, that's really good. And I'm sure, I'm sure guys, you have your own favorites. Um, I'm going to mention three runner-ups. Uh, it was hard to pick the best three. Uh, I'm going to you know, briefly mention three. Uh, we have deeper networks. You probably heard of these guys. Um, they're in, let's say, in my 10 favorite projects, node projects. Uh, certainly not the best three, but um, they have some good qualities. So in a further video, I'm going to be discussing this. Uh, you probably heard of Fluxnode. Some of you guys might have invested with them. It's one of the best node projects out there. But right now, because the price of log is so high, 
it's not the best time to enter. So if you enter the notes, the flux node space when the project was launching, then you probably are a millionaire by now. But I'm not sure at this moment. So we'll be creating a video about flux in the near future because they have introduced new node types. And then we have Gala Games. Gala Games, same thing as Flux. Uh, when it was starting, it was like an amazing investment. And if you put money there, you probably have a ton of profits right now. Uh, so the price of Gala has gone up. The, here's the thing, this, uh, Gala has been creating new games. And with each game, they allowed you to provide them node services and they will uh, give you part of the profits in the token of that game. So we're going to be also creating a video about Gala in the future. Um, those are my runner-ups and I'm sure you guys have your own favorites. Write those down in the comment sections. I want to create more videos about this. So um, you know, I will be going through the comments and looking for the most favorite ones and I will be creating a video about those, you know, trying to uh, grade them and explore what they offer. Um, for now, guys, I think that's that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel if you want to get more information about uh, notes and another way to invest in this kind of crypto startups uh, in order to get great gains like uh, Silicon Valley VCs do. Uh, see you for the next video. Bye-bye now.